What is going on my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial. In this video, we're gonna talk about four absolute no-brainers when it comes to stretching those social security dollars next year that you will absolutely want to pay attention to just in case it applies to you and can save you some money. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons and let's get into this breaking news update regarding the latest Social Security, SSI, and Disability Benefits information. This information changes on an almost daily basis, and it's my job to keep you informed with the latest updates. So make sure you watch every single video and watch all the way through so you don't miss out on the most current information. Surviving on $21,924 a year is tough, but that is the reality if Social Security is your only source of income. In January 2023, the average benefit was only $1,827 per month. And that's after you account for the year's unusually high 8.7% cost of living adjustment. Social Security benefits aren't meant to be the sole source of money in retirement, but about a quarter of retirement age people rely on Social Security for at least 90% of their income. Whether you're counting primarily on Social Security to fund your golden years, or you have investments and other resources, your retirement will be a lot more relaxing if you can squeeze more out of those monthly checks. Here are four strategies that are hopefully relevant to you and that you may want to try out if you truly wish to have the positive effect of increasing your Social Security benefits in 2023. The first one, and this is by far the easiest and most obvious strategy, is to wait a little longer. No one is saying that you have to wait until you're 70, which is when you'll get the biggest check possible from Social Security, but if you want to beat the average check, wait just a little bit longer than the average retiree before starting payments. As of 2018, the average man claimed benefits at age 64.7, while the average woman started benefits at 64.6. If you qualified for the average benefit of $1,827 at age 64 and waited just one more year, you'd boost your benefit by 6.66% or about $120 a month. To get a bigger boost, wait until at least full retirement age, which is 67 if you were born in 1960 or later, that is when you will qualify for your full Social Security benefit. If you can delay even longer, you'll earn 8% annual delayed retirement credits until your benefit maxes out at age 70. The second strategy we are going to explore is boost your income. Social Security uses your best paid 35 years to calculate your benefit. So if you want to get bigger monthly checks, you'll want to boost your income meaning you'll pay more FICA taxes, which fund Social Security. You could do so by negotiating for a raise, getting a better job offer, or starting a second part-time job or side hustle. Keep in mind though, that only earnings up to the maximum taxable earnings for any year are considered in Social Security's benefit formula. For 2023, that amount is $160,200. Even if you earn $200,000 or $300,000 for 2023, you'd only have $160,200 of earnings from Social Security's perspective. Moving on to number three, work at least 35 years. Since your benefit is based on your top 35 years of earnings, work at least 35 years if you're trying to maximize your benefit. Falling short of 35 years results in some years that are logged as $0 which will push down your average earnings. For example, if you only worked for 32 years, Social Security would enter three years as $0 for your average. Working more than 35 years can have a big payoff, particularly if your earnings are significantly higher now than they were earlier in your career. Replacing a low earning year with a higher earning one increases your average earnings. That in turn boosts your benefit. And last but certainly not least, we have number four, spousal and survivor's benefits. If you've been married or divorced, you may qualify for spousal benefits of up to 50% of your current or former spouse's benefit. If your current or former spouse has died, you could receive survivor benefits of up to 100% of their primary insurance amount. However, if your own retirement benefit is higher than your spousal benefit, 
or survivor benefit, you'll receive your own benefit. Social Security doesn't allow you to claim both. As with retirement benefits, Social Security reduces spousal and survivor benefits if you claim early. So to maximize either type of benefit, you'll need to wait until full retirement age to start. However, you won't earn 8% delayed retirement credits, so you'll collect your maximum spousal or survivor benefit at your full retirement age. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information you might have about your own social security benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. All right, guys, stay safe, stay hustling, stay warm, and I will talk to you guys again soon.